Hello and welcome to the Extended Greg YouTube channel. I'm Greg and on today's show we're going to be talking about Audio Mix Plus and Mix Minus. Audio Mix Plus and Mix Minus are techniques used in audio production to control and separate different audio sources. These techniques are commonly used in broadcasting, podcasting, and live sound reinforcement. In this video, we'll take a look at how Audio Mix Plus and Mix Minus work and how you can use them in your own productions. So let's get into it. So today we're going to demonstrate both of these techniques. So first let's talk about Mix Minus. Mix Minus is a technique used in audio production to prevent audio feedback or echo when multiple audio sources are being used in a live sound reinforcement or broadcasting scenario. It involves creating a mix of audio that includes all sources except the source that will receive the mix or the minus source. So what we have to demonstrate Mix Minus is we have two mixers. We have one that's set up to represent the field, and we have one that's set up to represent the studio. Each of them are receiving the other's feeds, specifically with these quarter inch cables here. So we see that the output of the studio is going into the input of the field, and the output of the field mixer is going to the input of the studio. We also have these VU meters right here which we built in a previous video. If you'd like to check that out, click this link right here. The top represents what's coming back from the studio to the field, and the bottom two represent what's going from the field to the studio. This meter is attached to this mixer, and this meter is attached to this mixer. Now, if we didn't have mix minus, we would actually see that they would both feed back to each other because it would create this continuous loop between the two mixers since there was nothing to keep the signal from passing back to itself and going back out. What we can do to prevent that is we have to break it with the mix minus. In this case, because we're using the right channel for our send going to the other mixer, we are going to pan our return signal to the left. And we see even by doing that on one mixer, just in the field, we can see it immediately breaks the feedback loop. There's no longer that full circle, so you can't have that feedback loop. And when we tap on this mic, we see it's going out and it's feeding everywhere. But the problem with that is that we're still getting ourselves coming back. So when this signal goes out, and we can demonstrate it here by turning off the return. We see the signal is going to the other mixer and then coming back. The problem with this is that because you're going to be receiving yourself back uh, in the field from the studio, there's going to be some form of mechanism to go between these two mixers. And usually that's a transmission mechanism that will induce delay, like a telephone, like a Skype, like a FaceTime. Things of that nature will add delay as a function of how long it takes them to get from one end to the other. So if you're going to the studio and then coming back to the field, it's going to be very delayed. And if you hear that in your ear, it's going to make it very difficult to speak. So we actually want to do another mix minus in the studio, so that way the field does not receive themselves. And when we do that, we see that now it only shows up going from the field to the studio and there's nothing coming back directly. The same thing works the other way. So if we introduce audio into the studio, we can see that we only see the audio meters coming back going the other direction from the studio from the studio to the field. So they can talk, they can talk, and that way nobody's hearing themselves back on a delay. So Mix Minus is a very useful technique in live broadcasting where remote guests or reporters need to hear the program's main mix, but their own voice or audio output should not be heard back to them. It's also used in live sound reinforcement where musicians on stage need to hear themselves and other musicians in the monitor speakers, but their own microphone output should not be heard back to them. But let's say there was a circumstance where they wanted to hear themselves. How can they do that? So this is where Mix Plus comes in. Mix Plus is another technique used in audio production that complements Mix Minus. It involves adding an additional mix to the main mix 
that includes only the audio source that was removed or muted in the mix minus setup. So the way that works is in a mix minus setup, an audio source is removed or muted from the main mix to prevent feedback or echo just like we just saw. However, the audio source that was removed or muted may still need to hear itself or its output, especially in situations where the source is a musician or a performer on stage. To allow the audio source to hear itself or its output, a separate mix minus signal is created that includes the audio source that was removed or muted in the main mix minus signal. This mix plus signal is then sent back to the talent, allowing them to hear themselves without any delay or interference from other sources in the main mix. So let's look at an example of that. So we still have our mix minus set up. So our field's going across to our studio, and our studio is coming back across to our field. But if they wanted to hear themselves, we would just feed it to both mixes. So they would hear themselves, and we can do the same thing for field, So we can see now that the microphone in the field is feeding both buses for the talent monitor and the send to the studio, as we see it on both VU meters, but only the one that's sending going into the studio. On the studio side, we see the exact reverse, where it's feeding both buses, that way it can feed the studio talent, as well as the program bus and then it can go into the field as a return. So that's the implementation of both Mix Plus and Mix Minus used together. Mix Plus is commonly used in live sound reinforcement, where musicians or performers on stage need to hear themselves clearly without any delay or interference from other sources in the main mix. By providing a separate mix that adds their own audio source, they can adjust their performance accordingly and deliver a better performance. So thanks for watching the video today. If you'd like to see more videos in the Audio Basics series, click this playlist right here. Also, if you like the video, be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And then hit that notification bell. That way you know the next time we're getting extended. So until then, take care.